Hey Frozen community, it's Claire. Today we're going to walk you through the Z-axis calibration process of the Sonic Mega AKS. Before we start, we would like to note that all Sonic Mega AKS have their building plates calibrated before arriving at your hands. You can refer to this video to calibrate the building plate under the necessary circumstances. Remove the resin vat and clean the LCD panel with 95% alcohol before continuing. Remove the building plate and clean it with 95% alcohol to ensure there is no resin residue. Clean the screws if there is any resin residue. After that, place the building plate on a clean, flat platform. Use a 4mm hex key to first loosen the four cap screws on the building plate. Another kind reminder here, completely loosening the screws may cause the building plate to fall. Next, use a 2.5mm hex key to loosen the four set screws on the building plate. Loosen the set screws until the gap is no longer visible. If the upper part of the building plate can make contact with the lower plate, it means your screws are loose enough to perform the Z-axis calibration. Put the building plate back onto the T-plate and tighten the two thumb screws. Next, place two sheets of A4 paper separately on the left side and the right side of the LCD panel. Be cautious and avoid overlapping the papers to ensure accurate calibration. Make sure the vat is removed, the building plate screws are all loosened, and the papers are in place. Then, press Tools, Z Control, Reset. Wait for the building plate to descend and make contact with the LCD panel. Press on the middle of the building plate with one hand to stabilize it. Gently tug the four corners, ensuring equal friction among them. Use the long side of a 2.5 hex key to diagonally tighten the four set screws. Stop immediately when they make contact with the block below. Careful, excessive tightening the set screws may lead to inaccuracies in the Z-axis calibration. Again, gently tuck the four corners, ensuring equal friction among them. Maintain the same pressure of the building plate and use the long side of the 4mm hex key to tighten the four cap screws diagonally. For the last time, gently tug the four corners, ensuring equal friction. Pay extra attention that all three tuggings should have the same friction. If the friction feels different, you can loosen the four cap screws and re-tighten them to achieve the same friction. Once all screws have secured, move the Z-axis up for roughly 10 cm using the touch panel interface. The Z-axis calibration is complete once you move the papers. Thanks for watching! We hope you found this video helpful. If you have any more questions, leave a comment below. Last but not least, remember to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more exciting news from Frozen. I'll see you next time. Bye!